Let's talk about willpower, because actually I feel like up until this point in my life, I've been looking at it all wrong. The thing is, people who know me think I've got strong willpower because they see me exercising six days out of seven every week, but they couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, if I'm being totally honest with myself, my willpower is embarrassingly weak in a lot of ways. Let me give you an example. Case in point. Chocolate. Usually, I'm not allowed chocolate in the house. If it's in the house, it's going to get destroyed. It's gone, all in one go usually. True story, my mum every year buys me this huge white chocolate Easter bunny called Sir Hopalot or Bunny Chocolate or something. I don't know the name, but it doesn't last long enough for me to know the name. It's gone. It's eaten in one sitting because I cannot have it sitting around the house taunting me every day that there might be white chocolate around. So instead, I eat the whole thing in one go. Custard creams in the staff room, you better believe that they are going to get devoured. The list goes on. So here I am, a man who doesn't drink, who doesn't smoke, who exercises nearly every day of the week, but I'm still unable to resist chocolate or biscuits when they're put in front of me with willpower alone. Then I saw that the people that I coach go through the same types of things. Sometimes their willpower is really strong and they can execute a perfect week of training and sometimes they can't even get a single session in. And then it struck me. Willpower isn't something you're born with, it's not something you have or you don't have. It's something that goes up and down, it's something that fluctuates, it's something that you can deplete but it's also something that you can replenish. <laughs> So, before I stretch after my turbo session, let's talk a little bit about how I look at willpower now. So I see willpower as kind of like a phone battery. Every morning you wake up and it's fully charged, and the events that occur throughout the day um, deplete the battery a little bit, take away from your willpower. So things, things like walking the dog, maybe that's 5% of your battery gone. Things like turning down a second coffee of the day before 9am, another 5%. Getting up early to exercise, I find that really hard, so I would say that's more like 25% of my battery gone straight away. My willpower has gone to that. And the thing is, it soon adds up throughout the day. Did you ever wonder why you were more likely to give in to your cravings in the evenings, like wine or chocolate or whatever your vices are? It's because you've depleted your willpower throughout the day and you haven't got enough left to fight the urges. But believe it or not, keeping a hold of the precious willpower is easier than you think because it's about setting your environment to help you out. So when I exercise in the morning, yes, it's hard, but if I get everything ready the night before, it's not as hard. Maybe 20% instead of 25%. Biscuits in the staff room, no issues. Bring a yogurt in and eat it right at the start of break. No need to exercise willpower there because yogurt's delicious and I just saved myself 5%. Weakness for chocolate, no chocolate in the house. Can't resist walking into a shop on the way home to buy snacks, alter your route. Eat too much at dinner, buy smaller plates. All of these savings mean, at the end of the day, when everyone's willpower is naturally depleted more, you'll still have enough willpower left to avoid giving in to your cravings and urges. It is so simple. How I never saw it before this, I'll never know. But willpower was never something that I had or I didn't have. It was something that I woke up with every morning, ready to go, fully refreshed, and then I either squandered it or I preserved it, depending on what I did in the day. But every morning, I then woke up, and there it was, ready to go again, fully refreshed, ready to either help or hinder me, depending on what I did with it. So next time you tell someone that you've got little willpower, or you hear someone else say that they haven't got any willpower, I'm calling BS, because I think we just weren't looking at it in the right way. So if this video has resonated with you, if it struck a chord, then I would really appreciate it if you click the little subscribe button down there, do all the things that you would do, like it, comment, share, all the great stuff so that you can come on the journey with me. 
and I believe I learn as much from people that comment as they do from me and that's that's what this is all about for me this is not about me all I really do is I learn stuff from other people and then try and put it in a vlog format to help others so I will see you Tuesday